Good morning to each of you. Just want to say happy 4th of July to you. I know that I'm a couple of days early, but as our nation celebrates, no doubt this entire weekend and right up until Tuesday, uh, that independence, that word within itself is on everyone's mind. Yes, we as a nation, we're celebrating our birth and our independence and the privileges we have here in America. Part of that privilege is what I'm able to do this morning, and that is to share our faith and share the independence. So I just want to talk today uh, very briefly about that word independence. Because you see, so many times in life, all of us, or maybe I should say most all of us, we struggle with many vices. We struggle with many aspects of our life where we don't feel like we're independent. Matter of fact, we feel very dependent on many things. I know there are many people out there that have many vices in their life, places and areas where they have become dependent on certain things, and I'm sure all of us have those areas in our life. But today, I want to talk to you very briefly, spiritually this morning, about the independence from sin. For Jesus Christ came to this earth, walked among us here on what we know as planet Earth for 33 plus years. Today, we're able to celebrate our independence, not only as a nation, but our independence from sin. We do no longer have to be dependent upon sin to exist. Now, I know I've often heard it said many times that, oh, we're going to sin a little bit every day, and no doubt because of the sinful nature that is in each one of us, that statement may very well be true, but friends, I want to tell you something today. You are not any longer dependent on sin if you're born again. Because the Bible so plainly tells us that whom the Spirit, the Spirit of God, the Spirit of our Lord Jesus Christ sets free is free indeed. So today you and I can be and will be independent of sin no longer dependent upon sin to exist in this present life, no longer dependent upon the things of this world, but depending upon our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Now, one may would ask, friend, how do I reach that place? How do I find that accolade? Well, can I just share with you this morning, I believe it is through the written, written Word of God where that Word that is alive becomes life in us, his name is Jesus Christ, and it's through relationship with Him that each one of us uh, can be and will become independent of sin. Now, depending upon Him and His walk through us, that each one of us may be able to achieve the things that God has established and set for us. You see, I believe from the creation of mankind, God intended that you and I live in harmony and peace with Him. And it is through the independence of sin today that you and I no longer are dependent upon sin and the flesh, but now we become dependent upon God's Word and God's Spirit. So as I bring this to a close this morning, I just want to remind you today that you can be independent from sin. You can rely on Jesus Christ. You can make Him Lord of your life, and He can be the reason that you live. Today, we celebrate our independence and will throughout Tuesday celebrating our independence as a nation. Today, I want to celebrate with you your independence from the guilt of sin and the shame thereof and to be able to celebrate with you a new life in Christ Jesus because you see, friend, not because of my perfection but because of His, because I am simply an imperfect man striving to be like a perfect God. If you're looking for a place that you could grow, a place that maybe you could develop that type of atmosphere through the Word of God and through truth and life, can I just invite you to come down Altry Mill Road, Shiloh Pentecostal Holiness Church. The address is 2271. We'd be so glad to see you. Oh, well, when I get there, then I'm going to be independent of sin and the nature of sin, and I'm going to be able to walk into a room of perfection. Absolutely not. What you're going to do is you're going to walk into a room today that are filled with people just like you, imperfect people. But the difference is we are striving to be like Him through and by His Word, allowing the Holy Spirit to cultivate within us a newness. The Bible refers to it as a new creature in Christ Jesus. 
that sounds like a place that you'd like to be dwelling. If it sounds like a group of people you'd like to do life with, we'd invite you to come join us. Today we celebrate our independence from the nature of sin, and we celebrate the goodness of God in each of our lives. If you don't have a place to do that, come join us here at Shiloh. I believe you'd be glad you did. I believe you'll find people that will encourage you in God's Word and love on you and fellowship with you as we grow along with you. Because today, we are becoming dependent upon our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, we're celebrating our independence today. May God richly bless each one of you. Thank you for stopping by today. Go out and celebrate our nation and our independence, but also as well, first, celebrate Him and your independence from sin and the nature thereof. God bless each of you. Till I see you again, Pastor Eddie.